Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 8 in this series and is entitled Java Looping Statements. Looping is also a control structure that directs the repetition of statements a number of times. That number of times is usually the job of a counter variable. This variable is always initialized, is usually involved in a condition, and is either incremented or decremented. There are three looping statements in Java, for, while, and do while. Here are the formats of these statements. You can see that all three have condition and set of statements to do repeatedly. But although only for statement has initial value and increment or decrement, they can also be part of both while and do while when working with counters. Let's do activity number 12 to implement a loop. We will create a Java class that will ask a user to enter an integer. We will compute and display its multiplication table from 1 to 10. For example, an input about 7 should display the table on the right. We will use for statement in this activity. We have one input, the number, and we will call it num. You can identify a loop structure if there is a set of numbers with a certain pattern that can either be increasing or decreasing. This number will become the counter. 7 cannot be the counter since it's the same all throughout the process. Here, this 7 is the num variable. But the numbers 1 to 10 is an increasing number with a pattern. You always add 1 to the present number to get the next number. That is our counter, and we will call it CTR. The last number is simply the product of num and our counter CTR. Using for statement, we should initialize the value of our counter. We know that it starts with 1, so we write CTR is equal to 1. We also know that the last number of our counter is 10, so the condition is written as CTR is less than or equal to 10 which means that statements will be executed while CTR is less than or equal to 10. The last part is CTR++. This plus plus is an increment operator in Java, which is also the same as CTR is equal to CTR plus 1. If you see CTR minus minus, the minus minus is called a decrement operator. It subtracts 1 to the variable. For now, we see that CTR will be incremented by 1. So the for loop works with the initial value of CTR. Next, the condition is tested. If it is true, the two statements inside the braces are done. Afterwards, CTR is incremented by 1. Then it goes back to the condition. The process is done repeatedly while the condition results to true. Our output will be the multiplication table. Let's call our project multiplication table. We will use the console, so let's import java.util.scanner. Let's instantiate the scanner. Let's call it entry. It's equal to new scanner system.in. Let's declare three variables, all of type integer, num, our counter ctr, and the product. Let's ask the user to enter a number. And let's put it in variable num. Now let's write our loop statement. Let's initialize our counter to 1. Our condition is that CTR is less than or equal to 10, and our increment is CTR++. The brace product is equal to num times CTR, and let's display the details system that out that print line. We'll start with the variable num plus the constant string times small x plus the variable ctr plus the constant string equal sign plus the product. 
let's run our class for an input of 7 there you have the multiplication table of 7 let's continue with activity number 13 by revising the class in activity number 12 by using while statement instead of for statement we still have the same input num but instead of using the for structure we're going to use the while statement first we have to initialize our counter Second, we have to write the while statement followed by a condition which is still the same as the condition as our for. Next, we have to write the two statements to get the product and to display the details. But before we close the loop statement, there's a third statement that we have to write and that is to increment the counter. We will still have the same output. Let's change this for statement to while. Let's initialize our counter write the while statement with still the same condition it's the opening brace and the third statement should be to increment the counter finish now let's try to run the program let's input 8 and there you have the multiplication table of 8 that ends our first part for your looping statements. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.